Be wary of the friends that you keep around you. Be careful about the company that you keep around you. Friends can either make you or destroy you. This is how it goes. This is a very vital part in your life. It's better to have two friends who sincerely care and love you than to have a hundred fake ones. So some of them either want to use you rise up to the social ladder or even have you sacrifice in the spiritual realm. These things are not rare. It's very common among people. Some of them want to initiate you unknowingly and before you know it, you're a member of a satanic cult. So the Bible says in the book of Matthew chapter 8 verses 29, if your right hand causes you to sin, throw it away. It's much better to lose a part of your body than to have your whole body thrown to hell. Now, if your right hand causes you to sin, throw it away. It is much better to lose uh, one of your limbs than to have your whole body thrown to hell. In this case, the Bible was referring to bad friends. So welcome back again, guys. Now, if you're new to the channel, make sure that you actually hit the subscribe button. And also, guys, hit the bell as well so you can get notified every time I drop you an upload. And also, guys, if you're digging the content, if you're digging this video, make sure to hit the like button as well. So uh, in today's video, guys, we'll be switching things up a little bit. So in today's video, we'll be talking about a campus uh, girl who lost everything. Uh, a campus girl from Nairobi, Kenya, who lost everything because of bad friendship. So without no further ado, let's go ahead and just dive in. Now, you might be trying to get your life together, making savings, staying on the right path. But bad friendship can make all that foundation just go down the drain. The savings and the money that you made spent and finished in sinful acts like clubbing and buying liquor for women at all times, or even drugs, man, it's crazy. Now, who will be the loser at the end of it? You're gonna get wrapped up in depression and debts. So meanwhile, in the spiritual realm, you're letting these demons win. That's how they get you. Your soul is trapped. So you will never make anything out of yourself. Now, I know families that pay so much school fees just to have their daughters and sons go to study and what do they do? They get involved in some very bad company. When it's all over, they have nothing to show for their lives. Cause your friends taught you that getting sponsors, sleeping around with older women from, uh, sorry, older men for money is the only way that you can survive in campus. And the cool kids taught you that snorting cocaine is the best way to survive in campus. So what do you get out of it? Diseases, depression, Sometimes I feel sorry for some of these kids and some of the things that they do. This is Believer Smith coming to you directly from Believers Rebranded. Hashtag Exposed. Now, these are the same friends who go behind your back saying bad things. They don't really care about you, man. These are just cynical moves. They only care about their own interests. And this is how is it that people actually never learn from this? Now, to the story. Now, I know this girl from Naivasha, Kenya, who was sent to uh, campus Nairobi, USIU. She went there so innocent, but what became of her character is unspeakable and demonic. And why? Because of bad friends. So when she got there, she got herself involved in a very bad company with some very bad girls. Apparently, they are the so-called baddest girls in campus. We have so many of these in every type of campus. So. Where she came from, a family background, they didn't really have a lot of money. Even having her just go study there in USIU, it was draining the family finances. I mean, the literary, uh, sorry, I mean, the literary had to sell land just to have her go study there. I mean, keep in mind, USIU is very expensive. Mostly rich kids, are, uh, rich kids from rich families are the ones who go to study there. So anyway, back to the story. When she got there, she got herself involved in this very bad company of very bad girls. So the life in campus gave her a lot of pressure, not just for her. That goes for everyone who went to USIU and they didn't really have a lot of money. I'm speaking from my own personal experience because I was in USIU myself and I didn't really have a lot of money like that. And I was facing the same pressures. So seeing everyone driving nice cars, living in nice apartments, you know the life. So it got her thinking twice, uh, thinking twice about her life. So this is how the devil gets you. So someone introduced her to one of these girls and you can guess what happened next. So apparently one of these girls was the head of the one, uh, was the head of this whole charade. So what happens is, yeah. So she gets you connected to one of these sponsors on a contact list. 
So he had a lot of girls connected to some of these sponsors, and that's how they were able to afford the life, the cars, the houses, and everything. So soon, uh, sorry, soon, she got connected to one of these old guys. Uh, one of the sponsors was old enough to be her dad. So the relationship picked up quickly. I mean, it was easy for them because, you know, they both know what they wanted out of it. So the guy wanted sex and the girl wanted money. So, yeah, the guy bought her all the fancy things that she wanted, all the fancy things that she saw all these guys in campus having. So uh, very quick, she was actually driving, living in a nice apartment. But there's one thing she didn't really know. What she didn't know is that this guy was actually slipping around with other girls. And in the middle of all this, this guy contracted HIV AIDS. So he passed it on to her. But the moment that the sponsor confessed it, it was too late for the girl. So the Bible says in the book of Proverbs, uh, chapter 26, verses 24, a hypocrite hides hatred behind flattering words. The words might sound fine, but don't believe them because hatred, uh, sorry, their heart is filled with hatred. So the symptoms of this disease started kicking in quick. So the downfall, the scandal went on viral on campus. Everyone knew that she had contracted HIV and AIDS. The sponsor withdrew all the connections related to her quickly. I mean, all the money, the house, the cars. I mean, what did you expect though? Isn't this what they do? I mean, you can't imagine she had to drop out of school after all the money that the parents invested in her. I mean, remember what I told you, they literally had to sell land for this to happen. That's crazy, man. So she had to drop out of school cause everything that was going on was just crazy. So going back home, you can't imagine the disappointment on their parents' faces when she came back home. So guys, let this be a lesson to everyone out there who's involved in some very bad company. It never ends well, guys. It never does. So go back to Jesus. Just give your life to Jesus. He's the only way. The devil is out here to get you using these bad companies and other means. So be careful out here. It's not everyone who has your best interests at heart, guys. So I hope this actually helped you in some very positive manner. I hope that you actually learned something from this story. And I hope this and I hope this story has a very big impact in a positive way in your life. So it's been awesome, guys. I hope that you actually learned from this story. So I guess I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye. Namaste.